Hello and welcome to Your Damn Jets. Uh, what I want to do today is uh, go over my preparation for the sleep study that I'm going to have uh, this evening. I don't know when I'm going to publish this video. It might be a little later than the sleep study itself. Um, but I wanted to give people an idea of how those things work because I, I don't know much about it and I suppose a lot of people don't know much about sleep studies so today I'm preparing for the sleep study um, which is going to be at 9 tonight at Johns Hopkins um, and they've given me instructions about uh, what to bring though the instructions were very sparse they said bring reading materials and what you need for a night at the hotel uh, I like to travel light so I have my bag here and in my bag, I have a bunch of stuff, and among the stuff, I have my health, my health stuff, which is uh, removable from the bag. I uh, have a little tight space here. Um, so, one thing I have is medicine, and I do have my melatonin, because doctor's order is that I take one milligram of melatonin uh, every night. I do have also my hand sanitizer if needed, though they usually have soap at the at the hospital. Um, I have my toothpaste. Here it is. Um, toothbrush, and I got the new toothbrush. I had a toothbrush in there, but it was fairly old, so I decided to throw it away and get a new one. Um, they're not very expensive. I have uh, my CBD oil here already packed. Uh, I don't take CBD during the day, I just take it at night for sleep. Um, and if you look on my channel, you can see I have another video about CBD oil. Uh, I do swear by it. Um, and um, also, uh, as far as health stuff goes, I have here uh, eye drops because I have dry eye and I've got I've shown you two but I have four eye drops container um, on a bad day I might use four at home but that's on a bad day so I'm pretty sure with four I'm gonna be okay uh, you know I'm just there for the night I'm there I arrived there at nine o'clock and I leave at they told me six in the morning but I don't know what it really means yet because they didn't tell me if six means like they wake me up at six or my wife has to pick me up at six. And I still don't have the answer to that. I'm going to have to text my wife and tell her what's what. Uh, I have a, a little zipper thing here uh, in which I have my sleep mask. I always sleep with a sleep mask at night. Um, I have earplugs. I don't know if I'm going to need them. Uh, at home, I usually wear them. Sometimes uh, Zeno can be annoying at night and he meows because we have the door closed because of my lymphoma. Uh, and it turns out that it's better for us to keep the door closed to the bedroom because um, then the cats cannot wake us up early in the morning. But sometimes Zeno is going to start... Uh, yowling in the middle of the night and it's better to have earplugs oh and my earplugs are special uh, in case you didn't know there are sizes of earplugs and I've learned through the years through surprises and all kinds of experiences that my ear canals are small for a full-grown man um, so these are these are small sized earplugs that I got on Amazon um, and they, they do well. Uh, they're, they're very nice and they're less bulky than the regular size. Regular size for me is too big. Uh, I don't know sound wise if it, if it performs better because there is certainly a problem if you get earplugs are too big for your ears and they don't fit well inside, you will not get the full capacity of the earplug to block sound. It's better to go smaller and have something that fits well into your ear. And uh, the, these are, are what I need. Um, I also packed some food. Granola bars. Uh, I shouldn't need them, but tomorrow morning 
If I'm feeling peckish when my wife comes to get me, I will have these in the bag already to eat if I need to eat something. Um, I'm not expecting that I will, but if I need them, I have them. Uh, other than that, um, I have here my um, Chromebook. I'm going to bring the Chromebook with me, an Asus Chromebook. Um, I might not use it very much, but uh, you never know. You know, I sometimes it happens that I wake up in the middle of the night. Though I shouldn't use a Chromebook. I think if I wake up in the middle of the night, the technician is going to slap my head. Um, but I have it just in case, you know, just in case I need it, just in case it takes me a while to, to relax and fall asleep. I do have also a book, uh, V for Vendetta. Um, and they tell you, you know, if you need to read at night, read something boring. I'm not sure if this is, if this is going to qualify as boring. Um, though I have read it before, so it's not like new stuff to me. And I'm probably going to remember some of the plot as I... If I need to read it tonight, I'm going to remember some of the stuff in it. So, um, I don't know. I, you know, I have the choice of reading that. So I guess I could always pull out the valley bars and read the ingredients on the back. I don't know. Um, I also have a, a pair of socks. And the reason I have these socks is not because I need to change generally. You know, I'm not going, I'm not going there for one night. I'm not going to stink by tomorrow morning. Um, but, um, I do have gout and as a preventative measure, I like to keep my feet warm, um, because gout is a precipitation of uric acid in your blood. And if you've done chemistry, you know, that precipitation is more likely to happen at cold temperatures. So I like to keep my feet warm at night, but among the recommendations I got from uh, my sleep specialist, one of the recommendations was if you do keep socks on at night because your feet get cold, change your socks every day. So I'm bringing socks to be able to change them uh, before going to bed. Um, other than that, I have uh, my pajamas, which are not really pajamas. It's a sweatpants and a t-shirt. Uh, But that's what I have right now. I actually, they told me, I mean, I, I I read some some advice about, you know, if you have insomnia and stuff like that. And I think I should get real pajamas at some point. But right now, that's what, that's what I have. Um, so what we're trying to do tonight, you know, what they told me is I'm, I'm spending the night there from 9 to 6 tomorrow morning. And they're going to put a bunch of things on my head um and probes and maybe i'm gonna have some around the chest also i, I don't know what probes they're gonna use but they're gonna be checking signals to make sure that to figure out what's going on with me whether i'm sleeping or not measurements i don't know about and i've been warned like the technician could come in the middle of the night and when i'm sleeping she could come and, and <laughs> decide to slam a mask. <laughs> Not slam, but I don't know. Put the mask on my face. Uh, sorry, I keep hitting the, the mic. Uh, because, um, you know, if they detect that I do have sleep apnea, they may do things like right away there to help me uh, not experience that. So there could be things they do in, in the middle of the night while I'm trying to sleep to try to help me. And don't be surprised by that if that happens. Uh, and it's very important, uh, not only when you have a sleep study, but before the sleep study and after the sleep study in general to have a routine. So I've tried to bring all the stuff that helps me maintain my routine at night. So I have a toothbrush and you'd say, well, one day or you could brush before you go to the hospital. We're fairly far from the hospital. I could still do it. I could still brush at home. But I tend to brush later in the night, so I'm trying to keep my my routine, my schedule of you know winding down for the night and brushing later in the night. Uh, usually, I brush just before I go to sleep. Um, 
and it's the same thing you know with uh, with the clothes and the book and stuff like that it's to you try to keep the, the routine uh, pretty much intact in the drugs also like the CBD and the melatonin I take them at at night I take them usually a little bit before going to sleep but um, I will be at the hospital when I need to take them so I don't want to take them earlier um, at home which I, I in theory I suppose I could do but to maintain the routine I, I try to bring everything I need and just stay in that routine uh, during the study and afterwards um, to make sure that uh, I don't screw myself. Last night was a pretty good night actually I I did take CBD and, and melatonin last night and I did sleep until my alarm woke me up and sometimes that's not that all the way sometimes I woke up at 2 in the morning. If I don't take anything, I will be up at 2 in the morning. And this is it. My night is over. Um, and I go to bed about 10.45 or 10.30. Um, the CBD has been less efficacious lately. Um, but with the exercise I'm already doing, I think I've improved the efficaciousness of the CBD. Um, and I'm hoping that with the sleep study and uh, they're going to be able to to tell me what's what's going on with my my brain or you know uh, as i said i've mentioned i think before in another video that one thing i learned from having seen a sleep study specialist is that you're you know you have obstructive apnea and then you have a central apnea which is very different obstructive is when you have an obstruction in, in the the airway that causes you to stop breathing, but uh, the central apnea is when your brain just forgets to, to breathe, which is very, to me, is, sounds bizarre. But your brain forgets to breathe, and then you're woken up by that, by that, and then you breathe consciously. I shouldn't do a video about this bag, actually, because this was, I, I've reused my chemo bag. I'm not going to show it to you in all details, but the, I've reused my chemo bag, and um, I think this is a, a great bag for people who, who have chemo. Uh, so I should, I'm, I'm probably doing, going to do a crank your damn Jets to 11 on on just the bag uh, and show you uh, you know how it works. Uh, but for now, um, that's enough yakking. Uh, I will I will there will be another additional video. I, I will probably post this in two episodes. Or maybe more, I don't know. But there will be at least two episodes. There will be another video. And I don't know what I'm going to bring with me um, to the hospital to record while I'm there. Probably it's just going to be recording on the phone. And then I'm going to edit it and maybe improve the audio a little bit. But uh, unfortunately, this mic is not going to be with me. Uh, and I'm not going to be using the, the camera I have on top of my... Uh, of my uh, screen it's, it's going to be either my phone or my laptop uh, or my chromebook but i don't think it's going to be the chromebook actually uh for all kinds of bizarre reasons uh, i think i'm going to record uh, from my phone so i and i may have shorts while i'm there though i'm not sure about that whoops i forgot to mention a few things um I'm not going to bring a lot of chargers. I'm just going to bring my Chromebook charger with me. Uh, and it's not in the bag right now. It's still downstairs where it needs to be to charge my Chromebook where I'm, I am usually in the house. Um, and I'm just bringing that one just in case. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need it. But um, if I do, then I have one charger. My Chromebook should be able to last me the whole night. I don't think I'm going to be using it at night. But if I were to use it at night, it, it would probably be fine. And my, my phone also, I think, is going to spend the night without being charged. And it's going to be fine. Also, I have enough charge on the phone and the Chromebook to spend the night. So... And then bringing uh, those two items with me. And another thing is I was thinking at first of bringing my um, night robe, which uh, I do like and uh, is part of my night routine. But I've decided that it is too big to fit into this bag. If I put it in, then I cannot put in the Chromebook. And I would have to bring another bag and I don't want that. I want to be as slim as possible uh, going in. So... Uh, uh, that's the only thing I wanted to say. Oh, and other than that, I should say that I'm going to have my phone in my pocket. You know, it's always in my pocket, and I'm going to have my my um, 
cards, uh, you know, credit card, identity card, and my keys with me. Uh, but I've removed a lot of the keys. I just have my home key, my car key, uh, a crypto key, and stuff like that. I don't have... Uh, a dozen keys. The dozen keys is staying here. <laughs> I do have a dozen keys, but they're staying here. They're not coming with me to the hospital. I've learned to minimize uh, the amount of stuff I carry around. And of course, I'm going to be dressed uh, just like this uh, for the hospital. So now that my addendum is done, goodbye.